it's very important for me. It's very, very important. There are, um, what do you call, uh, it's very difficult to find realistic shooter games these days. Like, uh, for example, I cannot go out there and play uh, paintball. I am old. I, will, I would love to go out there and play paintball. Or I would love to go out there and play airsoft. Those are the, like a strategy, you know, uh, games with the paintball gun and the airsoft gun. Instead, I'm playing computer games as realistic as it gets and entertaining too. It's very difficult to find those kind of games out there. Uh, but there are a lot of people looking for those kind of realistic games, you know, uh, tactical. So I created that uh, tactical shooters uh, to those who like the idea and join. Here's what happens. If we play without the jumper and without the uh, uh, quarterback, we, don't, we won't have special abilities that's going to give us extra uh, power, which is kind of like a magical power, I should say, uh, like a Valorant or whatever. Now, if we lose the match, we have an excuse. But the other team lose the match with their quarterbacks and their jumpers. They don't have any excuse. And it, it gives double the value uh, to our winning. You know what I mean? Because we are much more ta uh, tactical and we know how to fight. And we don't rely on magical stuff or overdone stuff. We just use our skills to read the map, to be tactical, attack on time, shoot on target that means we know better isn't it it is now do you know who gaming jaeger is do you know who, do you know who gaming jaeger og streamer past streamer and still make he still makes a uh, youtube clips for battle prime and he's a uh, he's like a year he started from the beta i think he's a uh, Really, OG. And if you think that I am the only one thinking this way as a tactical and for for battle prime, I want you to I want you to listen to this. Um, but here, here is why I'm why I'm going to debate this. Um, and Zell says no. Eddie says why. Here is my argument to why the delay doesn't need to happen, because. It takes you a second to look down a scope. That's all. I mean, it doesn't take you a full second, but it takes you a moment to look down a scope. Again, and here's here's where it came up in, in in Discord today. Is it came up as quick scoping? Quick scoping needs to happen in Battle Prime. <laughs> the answer is hell no, it doesn't. You don't need to be able it to really flick a scope, pop a shot, and if you want a scope, you need to be able to take time to look down your scope, especially if it's a zoom scope. Like that's got to You got to come into focus when you look down that. Yet again, ask any sniper in real life if they've ever just drawn their sniper rope and just went whoopa, whoopa, whoopa. It doesn't happen because you don't quick scope in real life. It's not a, it's not a legitimate tactical movement, uh, and that is why I, I debate against it. Let's hear it, nominal. If you try to throw a scope up like that, you're gonna crack your you are gonna you're gonna you're gonna crack your your your, your the bone there that just by pop like you can't you can't legitimately quick scope and here. And this is, and again, oh, well, it's a video game. Here's the deal. We have games that have BR. We have games that have quick scope. We have games that have jump spam. We have games that are these fast paced, action intense shooters. And on mobile, we have plenty of them. My hope, and this is, yeah. what, this is what Battle Prime started as. And this is maybe why I'm so attached to it. And this is why I'm, the, like, I'm, that, I'm that dude telling kids to get off my lawn. Uh, Battle Prime, ha the way that it looks graphically, has the ability to allow you to immerse yourself into what I believe could be a more military tactical gameplay. And what I mean by that is I think the one game I think of like that is I go back to years ago when I played like Battlefield 4. I don't know what it's like now, but I loved it back then. Battlefield 4, when it was all about tactically moving across the map, making sure that you use cover, making sure that, you know, hey, maybe you can climb a small box to get an advantage, but you can't, like, you can't jump off a two-story building and not take fall damage. Which, by the way, is something I want Battle Prime to introduce, but that's a whole other level. We'll get to that in a second when I get my water. But quick scoping, it's not a thing in real life. I don't think it should be a Battle Prime thing. Even though I know, well, they don't have, you know, 
poison grenades you can chuck. You can't electrically charge your body and shoot. I know that there is an element of non-realism, and I'm not going to be ignorant to that. But quick scope, in my opinion, would 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 ruin Battle Prime. If if they had jump spamming the way that it is, the ridiculous. I, I love slide. I do like it, but it's too long. They need to shorten that one. You know, that's all that I at max speed. Your slide, I think, should be just a little bit shorter. Like, Plus, I wish that. Like, they should let us, like, slide in at the same time. I'm you not, you like, can shut your mouth right I'm now like, and get off stream. Man. Don't you dare say those words. You should not be able to jump <laughs> and slide at the same okay. time. You hush. Uh, um, but if in the current state, if they keep the weapons as is, they keep the matchmaking as is, they keep the, the sure dumb not. assery of jump spamming, and then they introduce quick scoping, I'm going to find a new game. Like I, I straight, I, I, I it's broken up. all of, and here's, and here's why I say that. Here's why I say that. All of those reasons are exactly why I deleted, you know, CODM, CODM for everyone that wants me to say it. But I, I, that those are the exact reasons why I deleted Call of Duty Mobile. So if Battle Prime adds all of the features that, and here's, and I would bet to say, most people in the chat right now have all reduce the amount that they play or deleted call of duty mobile for all of the reasons that i just stated and you and we hated it because it just got ridiculous <laughs> that that but some not saying you guys in chat right now i feel like you guys are the smart ones too but there are the people on discord be like add this add this add this all they are is their codm features and the moment they get here they'll get bored and tired of it they'll go to another game and be like this game is so great but what you need to do is Add BR, add quick scope, add vehicles, add you know it's just come on now. Let's add things that the mobile market doesn't have. And you know what, you know what we what I would love to see again. I like I would love I, I from day one of bet I said oh my god this game could be that battlefield style. Give me dynamic spawn points. Give me a longer, larger map I, with with five capture domination points rather than three. And and let me spawn on my teammate rather than always spawning at the at the the origin point. Let me spawn at the domination point that we that I that our team captured, so I can start at B and help fortify B rather than having to start at my spawn point and hustle across the map. So, those are some of my opinions on it. Uh, Xanth, people are suggesting BR in Discord. They always do. I mean, that's the thing. Because here's the deal. I, I, mm -hmm. I, it's not. Everybody knows we don't want BR, but here's the deal. Like everyone's gonna ask for it because people love it. I love BR as well. Like I'll jump on and play Warzone in a heartbeat with my buddies. I love it. Check I do it, enjoy it. it. When I first started playing, now I, there are many things that I appreciate. Battle Prime has updated and and has changed. There's a number of things that were that had the ability to be up, updated. My one goal for Battle Prime is I just don't want it to fall into where it really does feel like a CODM ripoff. And and the only reason here's why people compare everything, compare it all to CODM, is because. It's that is a major blockbuster title for the mobile game, and I would I would I would absolutely say that CODM also brought a lot of people into mobile gameplay that were like, no, mobile gaming is not you know gaming or blah blah blah, and and Call of Duty made a wave there. They did, and now and you know well, Fortnite. Honestly, later. The problem is is that game became very much like it came very pushy for content. Um, I get like devs need to make money, but it's like it became very. And this is, I mean, this is even something I hate about Warzone when I play on Xbox. Is every time I finish a match, it wants to tell me about everything I I could have unlocked in the battle pass if I don't own it. I get like you need to promote it, <laughs> and, I, and I'm not mad at that. Like Battle Prime, it does it it does push a little bit of content, but it doesn't come off to me as like greedy. But but Call of Duty comes off as greedy to me. It's just what it is. Um, greedy. But but I but I and, I and I will say this I do feel like Battle Prime is has has inched a little closer in 4.0 to feeling that 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 COD mobile style, um, and it's not just the skins it's just the like I left CODM a long time ago um, because jump spamming and quick scoping drove me nuts everyone was slide knife slide knife slide knife and then jump snipe jump snipe jump snipe quick scope and it's like I'd watch these kill cams and I'm like. I never even saw his crosshairs come over me, yet he's getting this quick snipe, like, pop. And, like, the, exactly. like that stuff was ridiculous. I'm like, that doesn't... 
That's that doesn't feel real to me. I think Battle Prime has the ability to give people the real feels, you know, for immersion in that like the battle simulation. That's the idea behind Battle Prime, battle simulation. So don't give me, you know, give me game elements, but don't give me overly fake uh, movements See, and stuff like that. that. That's Very well said, Mr. Jaeger. Very well said. Now, quarterbacks and jumpers, they're like Overwatch stuff. You know the Overwatch game? That's like a quarterback and jumper. When it comes to quick, sco quick scoping and uh, jump, you know, keep jumping up and down, or all kinds of, you know, uh, athletic or physical stuff in the game, uh, the, the very skilled players doing, it's like a creating, uh, what do you call Basketball players, like very skilled basketball players, creating, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but globe trotters. You know what the globe trotters is? I'm going to show you what it is. Very skilled basketball players that can do all kinds of stuff with the ball. Dribble, shooting, all kind of, uh, um, what do you call it? Amazing moves, which are not allowed on a NBA, such as this this is accepted allowed in their game because they are show team but you cannot do that in nba can you no you cannot so what happens is either all skilled players should do one versus ones or go custom plays and show all these uh, moves over there. When you are so skilled, using clothes, whatever, doing all kinds of stuff, quick, sh quick shot, quick scope, jump up and down everywhere, you are actually discouraging the new players that are coming in. Do you know that? You probably don't know, don't, know, don't know that. But because you're so skilled, you show everything you got, just to show off, just to impress your friends, even yourself, against the, you know, when you call, but some of them are not butts some of them real people and they come and they try the game and then you face with those guys the matchmaking and then you, you show all kinds of stuff hey look at me i'm the and then you scare everybody out this is one of the biggest problem for the games by the way skilled players over time believe it or not it's one of the reasons game games die skilled players over time scares the others so that's why it, they are not allowed uh, on my clan, which we're going to go right about now.